Oh, hey guys, how's it going? This is Tom Burkhart from Car Revs Daily. We are at uh, the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and um, just came out of some really cool exhibits. Uh, now we're in like sort of the main exhibition hall, and uh, this is a really, really cool museum there, because uh, for a lot of reasons. You know, there were a lot of really special char historical characters that went into creating the Corvette and making it a production reality for GM for the last 60 years. I mean, uh, it took a lot of convincing. And over those, uh, over that time, over those, um, you know, 60 years, that's, uh, there have been a lot more Corvettes, you know, racing Corvettes, concept Corvettes, all types of things that have not gone into production versus, um, well, they've, they've basically just, uh, you know, for every Corvette that has gone into production, there are maybe 10 awesome prototypes, and they're all in this museum. So this is the ZR1 convertible, or uh, ZR1 Speedster, what does it say? Oh, ZR1 Spider. So this is a ZR1 convertible, unique deck lid. Um, you got a little pace card on there. That thing's pretty cool looking. Um, we just, uh, so this is sort of like the, I guess this might be pace car alley, but... Um, some of the, one thing I've really enjoyed about this museum so far is that they have really they have these cool um, brass sculptures of uh, Louis Chevrolet and Zora uh, Arkastunkov, and who I found out Zora's real name is Elfie, which is pretty fun. Um, but they, so they, you know this is a pretty well thought out exhibit or, or um, museum that uh, you know has field trips and and a lot of other there's a lot of. I guess just a lot to see and a lot of entertainment value for car people and non-car people too. Um, so we're just uh, cruising around here. One thing, I, one, other, one other thing I wanted to say about Zora uh, Argostunkov is that um, I learned a little bit more about him today. He, uh, first off, he seems like a really cool guy, and um, was just like sort of a little little guy born in Belgium and you know with a Porsche racing experience. Uh, probably helped by the fact that he was so, you know, racing drivers back then wanted, they wanted the guys to be as light and small as possible. So, uh, he did well uh, in that regard. And then, um, uh, what was I really going to say? Oh yeah. So he's buried here. So he's, uh, he's, his ashes have been cremated, uh, along with his wife and they have, you know, a really special plaque wall over, um, over in the other part of the exhibit. It's actually, it sounds kind of, uh, it sounds a little bit, um, you know, unusual at first, but, but it's actually really, really charming, and um, they've got one of his, uh, they've got him in a, a statue of him in a, a blue seersucker suit, and um, it's, you know, it's really charming. I mean, this guy, even when he was, uh, when he was in his retirement, uh, was very, very involved, you know, was really the Corvette man. I mean, he was the guy. If you were a Corvette owner and, uh, you know, a forum user or whatever, and you had some major problem, if you got through to Zora, he was going to help you. So that's pretty, that's pretty rare in any huge business, um, especially, you know, in, uh, in the modern age. All right, so uh, this has been Tom Burkhart. Hopefully this has been relatively entertaining, and uh, we'll talk soon.